It really blows my mind to understand that this war started a hundred years ago. Her started their false propaganda, the lies, renamed the plant hemp, renamed the plant cannabis, and called it marijuana. Because he lost a lot of timber to the Mexicans, he wasn't too happy with them. But California started the law in 1913. Several states followed quickly, and before you knew it, the conglomerate of the industrial complex had managed to pass a bill close to the uh, Marijuana Tax Act of 1937. It was proven unconstitutional by 1969, and, and Nixon knew he didn't have much time to keep this law going, so he gathered his conservative friends to give him advice and find nasty things to say about this plant, but they found the opposite as usual. They found it is not habit forming. It does not lead to other drugs. It doesn't do any of the things that you said that they said they do. And so he didn't like that report. He tore it up, threw it that in was the garbage. The Schaefer Commission the report. Schaefer Commission report. And but here is the tragedy. So actually the only federal law, you law enforcement, listen carefully because you took an oath to uphold our Constitution too. That lie which disrespects my Fourth and Fifth Amendment rights, that lie that's kept me from getting a job since the 80s, so now I live with a miserable income and you got to support me. That same lie has put over 20 million of us under arrest at one time or another. Now how many of us are, are there here? How many people smoke marijuana in this country? What is the percentage of what you arrest? Is it 1%? Is it 10%? Is it 4%? Well, whatever you think it is, multiply that by 25 million and you might get a clue, a hint. Why are we forced to follow, this is the federal law they try to put on the states and everyone else, to follow the legacy of a man who left the presidency in disgrace for lack of honesty? This needs to end. That is one of the main reasons I'm asking everybody to vote for 80, to vote to help the people in Colorado, in Michigan, and send a clear message to the administration. This will not be tolerated any longer. We have not. That's why there are millions of us breaking your law every day. It has no respect for us. It doesn't deserve respect. Now change it. Please change it. Vote on 80. If you live in other states, help those ones in Colorado and Michigan, and definitely con contact your legislators and your president and remind you, remind them that this man changed these laws all by himself with no help from the Congress or the Senate. It was just an order that he gave that we're living under this lie, and this lie has to end. Five generations of lies and misinformation has rendered us a nation very, very incapable of making rational decisions, mostly because our system is not satisfied, the endocannabinoid system that opens our mind and expands our thinking and allows us to be real human beings.